So I found out this morning that Takafusa Kuba and Karu Mitsoma are actually better players than Song Hyun Min and Lee Gang In. At least according to some of the comments that I got on a recent IG reel that I posted. You can check out the link to our Instagram in the description of this video. Welcome back to Twitter Takes Episode 2. I'm cheating a bit with this one because it wasn't Twitter, it was Instagram, but I hope you guys will let that slide. And I need you guys to let it slide because some of the comments I got on this video were completely out of pocket and we're going to be reacting to those today in this video. But before I do that, guys, if you like videos covering Asian football, if you want to see videos previewing the Asian Cup, reacting to games in the Asian Cup, make sure you hit subscribe so we have a ton of stuff coming out on the channel soon. I don't want you to miss that. Let's recap what I said exactly that had the Japanese hordes coming for my neck. Basically, I said that Lee Gang In and Song Hyun Min are the Shaq and Kobe of Asian football, that they are the best two-man duo in the Asian continent, the most potent, the most dangerous offensive players that no other nation, even Japan, can match. And I gotta be honest, guys, I was really, really disturbed by the amount of disrespect that I saw, especially towards Sung Hyun Min, who I regard as the best Asian footballer of all time. Let me just preface the rest of the video by saying I am a massive fan of both the Japanese and the Korean national team. I just want Asian football to be on the up, dude. I just want the continent to get the respect that it deserves. Most of my favorite players ever are either Japanese, Mexican, or Korean footballers, period. So I don't want to see a single comment that's like, Jack, you're only picking Son and Egong in because you're a Korean simp or your girlfriend is Korean. Neither of those are true, unfortunately. If those things were true, I'd probably say Hwang and Bomb is clear of Kamada, but I'm not going to say that. Right now, let's go player for player. Let's list off some stats, some accolades, and I'm going to start with Son. And I hate to do this because I honestly find this entire discussion quite frankly, insulting to the man who is, in my book, the clear best Asian footballer of all time and one of the best footballers in the world over the past five years. But hey, we got to respond to these comments. So to start with Song Hyun Min, he was the Premier League top goal scorer in 2021, 2022, the only Asian footballer to ever do that. Puskas winner in 2020, two times Tottenham player of the year, 25 goals and assists in 55 Champions League games, eight straight years of 10 plus goals and counting in the Premier League. Two of those seasons, he had a double-double, double, double, you know, figure goals and assists tally. 23rd all-time on the Premier League all-time goal scoring sheet. Let me say that again in case somebody didn't pick that up. 23rd all-time in the Premier League. Not the K-League, not MLS, not the Eredivisie. The mother effing Premier League. My man is 23rd all-time in goals. If he scores 10 more goals this season, which the way that we're playing Ange Ball, it looks like he's going to, he'll be 19th. Top 20 all time at 31 years old. Oh, I'm getting heated now. Let's just ride this energy. Second in all time goals for the Korean national team with 41 behind Cha Boom only. Eight time Asian footballer of the year. And lastly, PFA team of the season 2021. And he actually didn't make it in 2022 despite winning the golden boot. So I don't know how many times that's happened in history. You guys make sense of that however you want to. I really hope that going over some of these numbers shows to some of y'all how stupid and ignorant this argument is to even compare a very good player who I'm a massive fan of and Karu Mitoma to a Son Hyung Min is just insulting. I've said that already and I'm going to say it again. It is an embarrassment. It is a howler of a take that I genuinely do not think you can have if you're not ethnically Japanese, a weeb, a fan of Arsenal, or... I don't know, just a Korean hater. 113 goals and 62 assists in the Prem. I mean, Jesus Christ, that is elite. That is world-class. And you are going to say that Mitoma, Mitoma, after one season of seven and five, again, don't want to diminish that. I love Mitoma. But you're going to tell me after one season of seven goals, five assists, that he is better. Nay, he should be mentioned in the same breath as Sung Hyun Min? These are two of my favorite players. Look what these comments have me doing. But I got to be real about this. If you're being objective at all, there is no discussion. There is no comparison between Mitoma and Sung Hyun Min. Next up, we can talk about Lee Gang In, who was playing for a woeful offensive side in Mallorca in La Liga last season and finished with six goals and six assists despite literally having to do everything with the ball. I have no idea what the La Liga, like, top chances created were in the season, but if Lee Gang In was even sniffing the top 25, that man deserves an award for that alone, because he actually had to do everything as a 21-year-old, basically kept them safe from relegation, single-handedly, and... And, and y'all want to, oh my God. And y'all want to say Kubo is clear, clear, not better, clear. Y'all are out of pocket for that. One of the beautiful things about this comparison is that Kubo and Egon Yen actually played for Mallorca 
for basically the exact same amount of games. Let me read you the stats. We'll start with Kubo. 67 games, 6 goals, 8 assists. Egong in 73 games, 7 goals, 10 assists. So Egong in played 6 more games and has 3 more goal involvements. And again, some of y'all are going to look at those numbers and say... Kubo is clear. And let me say right now, I do not think Igangin is clear of Kubo. I don't, and it's not really a accurate comparison with Mitoma, so I'll just put that to bed right now. What I was saying in the entire video was that when you put Igang in with Sung Hyun Min in Korea, their full potential is unlocked, and those guys complement each other and make each other better and are more dangerous than any combination of Asian players currently in the game. That doesn't necessarily mean that Igang in is better than Kubo, but even if that was the entire argument, I feel like there's a good argument for Igang in to be the better player, and I, I, I don't think it freaking matters. I think they're tied. I think it's close. Igang in clearly, clearly had the better year last year, and Kubo is clearly having the better season this year. So, in my opinion, it's just a wash. I mean, even the most right wing, diehard nationalist Japanese have to ask themselves the question if Igang in wasn't that good, if he was just okay at Mallorca, why is PSG buying him as one of the foundational pieces for their post Messi? Post Neymar rebuild. You think a team like PSG is going to take some big gamble on a Korean footballer if they didn't think he had the sauce? Oh my god, this is frustrating. I love all four of these players. I really don't like that I'm having to like tear one down to, to build up the other because I think if you're an Asian footy fan, period, you should be so excited that this is even a conversation. The amount of talent right now between Korea and Japan has never before been seen. I don't care what anybody says about back 2002 World Cup. No. No, 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 it does not compare to the current day national team sides. Just to wrap up on the players, we'll talk about Kubo briefly. I mean, he's cooking at Sociedad. If, if, if La Liga season ended today, that man deserves to be in the team of the season, hands down. I believe he won player of the month in September or October, something like that. The dude has been unplayable at times. But are we really going to go with a man who has had four months of scorching hot football uh, with a player of Mitoma who's had a year and a half of scorching hot football versus Song Hyung Min and Lee Gang In, that is really where I just don't understand what we're even debating here. So to summarize my argument, I think you're taking the greatest Asian player of all time and you're taking the most dangerous attacking midfielder in Asia and you're putting them together and you cannot tell me that there is a better duo in Asia right now, period. That is how I feel about it. I recognize that Japan are a better national team. They have a much stronger overall 11 than the Koreans. But as I've said in other videos, Korea have superstars, world-class players that Japan, they're kind of flirting with. They have several players who could get there. I'm not saying Mitoma can't be considered world-class in two years. I'm definitely not saying that Kubo couldn't be world-class in two years. But right now, Korea have the cream of the crop. Of the top five Asian players, probably three of them are Korean. You could maybe make an argument for four, but I won't go I won't go to that level. You know, I told you my girlfriend and Korean. So I'm going to keep it at three. But the point is, once you get after the top five and it's, you know, number six through 20, it's probably 10 Japanese players plus a couple Iranians and maybe like Harry Sutar or something. Anyways, we don't need to get into that. But what I want to do now is read some of the comments that I got on this reel, because again, I just think it's hilarious. I'll put the link in the description to the reel directly so you guys can go check it out. But Buckle up. First comment from Kirito Anish. Mitoma Kubo Ito Asano preparing to show them the place they belong. First of all, Kirito, you are being extremely flattering to Takumi Asano by mentioning him with those other three gentlemen. Asano is by far the worst of those four players. He does not start for the Korean national team. I don't really know why you threw his name in. Maybe you like his Jaguar goal celebration. Um, but yeah, it, the point of the video, again, wasn't that Korea is better than Japan. It's that Japan doesn't have a player as good as Sung Hyo Min, and they don't have a duo as good as Sung Hyo Min and Lee Gang In. But I love the other three players that you mentioned. We got another comment here. Very funny man, zero ball knowledge. Again, no rebuttal, no real like data point to argue why there might be a Japanese player better than the Korean duo that I mentioned. No, just the zero ball knowledge, uh, which is always a sign of intelligence. This one's from Luis Munoz. Kubo is currently the best Asian behind Sun by miles as well. Now, I do respect that Luis said Sun is the best because that is factually correct. However, I think he's made a grave mistake here because he says that Kubo by miles is the second best Asian footballer, which means that he somehow does not know who Kim Min Jae is. You know, the guy who won the Serie A Defender of the Year last year. Again, man, some of y'all just way too reactionary. Let's just chill out with Kubo, dude. It's been four months. 
It's been four months. Also, did some of y'all not realize that Kubo doesn't even start for Japan sometimes because the guy in front of him, my favorite footballer, Junya Ito, keeps that man on the bench. And now that y'all got me pissed off and thinking, is Kubo even better than Mitoma? Like, I don't know. Mitoma's in a better league. He's playing on a team that's worse in the Premier League in respect to where Sociedad lies in the La Liga hierarchy. I mean, I don't know. You tell me. And if you somehow convince yourself that Kubo is better than Mitoma, is it really miles clear? Is he miles clear of Junya Ito? Is he miles clear of Wataru Endo? Is he miles clear of Tomiyasu? Again, bro, I just... I don't think you really watch Asian football. This next one's from Bid Jewelry. So what happened when Kang In Lee in Valencia? What happened to Yi Gong In at Valencia? What happened to Kubo at Real Madrid? What happened to Kubo at Mallorca when he had worse stats? than Yi Gang In, the guy that you just dissed. If you were going to damn either Yi Gang In or Kubo for the fact that they struggled at their first big European clubs when they were, what, 18, 19 years old, you're just a fool. I mean, look at Odegaard. He didn't work out at Real Madrid either, and now he's one of the best cams in the Premier League. Some people say in world football. So who the hell cares what happened at Valencia? It doesn't matter. The man's at PSG now. Jesus Christ. Here's another one, again, from a person named Luis. Starting to be my least favorite name, Mitoma and Kubo Clear. And like that is just so disrespectful. You should be ashamed of yourself. This is when I wish Instagram had a feature where I could like tap somebody's username and like challenge them to a duel. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a physical duel, although I, as a former wrestler, would absolutely love that. I mean, more just a debate. Like, get your ass on stage and sit down and talk to me about why you would say some disrespectful ass crap like Mitoma and Kubo are clear of the best Asian footballer of all time. From Jay Frigg, nah bro, Japan best team in AFC. Second is Korea or maybe like China, Australia. No mames. This, this man just said maybe China. If there is one way to quickly discredit yourself when having any discussion about Asian football, it's by mentioning that China could possibly be the second best Asian national team. Honestly, Jay Frick, you need to go back and you need to delete that comment because that is truly shameful. China are not even top 10, bro. And for you to say possibly second best. <laughs> I mean, Korea just beat that ass 3-0 in Shenzhen and it could have been more. And you're going to say they might be... Stop. Stop. You never watch. Just say it. Just say it. Don't comment and just move on. Here's one from Bertie Tyrell something. You look like you could be seven years old. And your comment also reflects that. Mitoma solos them both. Uh, uh, again, I, I just... You don't watch ball. I hate saying that. But you don't know what you're talking about. And even if you don't watch ball, could you at least like open up a tab on your computer and just type in stats for best player? Just type in awards? for both players, just at least like read some bullet points, you know, because you obviously didn't even do that to say that Mitoma solos like I need I need a, a word guys comment down below. I need a word stronger than disrespect because that is it, it's a crime. It's a crime that should be worthy of six months in a prison cell for saying that Mitoma solos. Song Hyung Min. Solo Song Hyung Min. 23rd in the Premier League all time in goals. Do I need to go back and read all the stats again? Solos him. Nah, man. That is embarrassing. That's moronic. That's asinine. Just stop. Never ever comment again. And I'm a free speech kind of guy, but that is just whoa. That is. Whoo, whoo, I mean, that I, I don't know what's worse. What, what is worse? That Mitoma solo Son or that China is the second best Asian team? Bro, y'all, whoo, man, y'all crack me up. DL Soloist. El Salvador versus Korea is a tie because El Salvador even more unstoppable. I'm pretty sure Sun only played like 20 minutes of that game. Also, are we really going to use one national team result as proof that Kubo and Mitoma, or he didn't actually mention any Japanese players, but as proof that somebody else is better than those two gentlemen. I mean, if y'all really want to play that game, we can play this stupid ass game. I mean, Korea just beat Tunisia 4 nothing, And uh, last year, Tunisia beat Japan 3 nothing. So, ooh, I guess Korea's better than Japan now. You see how just idiotic to say something like that is. They just, again, just para, please, por favor. I don't know where you're from, but just enough. Enough. All right, this is the last comment I'm going to respond to from Sarad Matthew. He says, when was the last time South Korea won the championship? I assume he means the Asian Cup. Japan has been a winner and a runner-up in the last two finals. Number one, that's not even true. Qatar beat Japan in the last Asian Cup, and before that, 
Australia beat South Korea, and you know who scored in that final? Son Hyung Min, you absolute bellend. And even if this was true, right, because this is a big deal for Korea, the fact that they haven't won an Asian Cup since like 56 or 60 or something like that, it's been a long time. But again, this is where you need like a basic fundamental understanding of what football is. This is a team sport. It is 11 men against 11 men plus substitutes, of course. This is not basketball where LeBron James can just take over. This is not the NFL where you can have Patrick Mahomes Holmes or Tom Brady and they're so good at the quarterback position a position that is like disproportionately important that they can carry their team to a Super Bowl in that con do you have any idea how many good players don't win something you do realize that it is hard to win an Asian Cup right you sound like one of those idiots that think that Harry Kane and Song Hyun Min aren't that good because Spurs never won a Premier League some players are just in situations where winning doesn't happen and it's not fair and it's really harsh and you're also ignoring the fact that even though Korea haven't won an Asian Cup in 60 years now, they're almost consistently in the final or the semifinals. I mean, it is extremely rare for Korea to not be in the final four, if you will, of the Asian Cup. Like, what are you trying to say, bro? Are you trying to say Iraq are better than South Korea because they won in 2007? Are you trying to say Qatar is better than South Korea because they won the last edition of the tournament? Like, bro, sometimes this stuff happens. Welcome to international football. There are upsets. Chile won back-to-back -back Copa Americas, for God's sake. Like, this thing happens. It doesn't mean that because they haven't won an Asian Cup since 2011, when Japan's last Asian Cup was, that they're somehow not a good team. And what does that even have to do with the original argument, which was Son Hyung Min and Lee Gang In are better than any Japanese duo. It has nothing whatsoever to do with that argument. You just got me debating it because I think your comment is stupid. Woo. And that's all I got to say about this. I really enjoyed this episode of Twitter Takes um, because it was very cathartic, much like the last episode, but this one even more so because I think this is probably more offensive on a, of an opinion than thinking that the U.S. are better than Uruguay. I mean, I could see somebody making a lazy argument for that, at least. But to say that Mitoma and Kubo are clear of Son Hyung Min uh, really boiled my blood. It really, really made me angry. I appreciate y'all leaving all those um, misguided comments. It has helped the real reach lots of people. And I do, I do find some peace in seeing how many people, both Korean and non-Korean, are coming to my defense and coming to the defense of the original take that I had and saying like, yeah, this is this is a true statement. He's not saying that Korea is better than Japan. He's just saying that they don't have a two-team task force, two-team duo, strike force, that is equal to Son and Lee Gang-in. So anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video there. I've been going for a while here. This is great rants. God, there's some great rants in here, I think. Uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Um, if you guys, again, ever see something on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, a comment or a, a, an upload straight up, that you would like to see me react to, that you think is ridiculous, send it to me, DMs open, social media links down below in the description. I appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.